Well, we're gonna find out. Let's try this. Preparation will be key to your success. It is here that you separate yourself from your predecessor. Righty ho. I probably won't be able to get gold straight away. A badly shaped tool will not cut smoothly. It will turn and bite the wielder. Mm. That is why I have paid such attention to your forging. On the last day of Solstice, you pass through the gates of the great city. The scene before you is overwhelming. A melange of architectural styles, exotic smells, and busy, busy people. You've taken counsel with your companions and wrestled with self-doubt. Your path is clear now. The Empire is a force for darkness in this world, bringing nothing but death and destruction. If you are truly a hero, this, this is the time to prove it. There can be no other end than this one. The Emperor must die. Estrella has organized a covert, a covert meeting with General Flint Hollow, an ally from her Empire days. He will tell us the way into the palace, she explains, but only if we prove that we have the backing for such a rebellion. Estrella disappears into the crowds, stating she has some business to attend to. You see the meeting place in the distance, the Church of Fires, a shining marble monument soaring above the crowd and rabble of the city. But first you must explore the districts and gain enough support for your cause. An Empire soldier stares at you from across the way, you disappear into the market crowd before he realizes who you are. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Inconspicuous is who we, what we are currently. That's useful. <laughs> I'll buy some food. Hell yeah. Well, I probably need... Oh, crap. I need money, so I should have probably put ex the exquisite blade in my deck. Darn. Death stalks these streets. Your death, my death, and the death of an emperor. Mm. While climbing the battlements and circling the city, you hear a choking sound followed by a terrified scream. Panic tourists hurry past you, covering their mouths. Behind them, a squad of soldiers rise painfully on the ground, their bodies twisted and malformed by the corruption. Oh, okay. Just fighting a lot. Yeah, this one... I, I don't know if I'd say this one's especially difficult. To gold token, it is, because there's so many different things you need. You need to be ready to do gambits. And I think... Di I'm pretty sure Dice Gambit is one that's a very frequent occurrence. Oh, right, yeah. Colbion's the first time we've used him since he became Platinum. His clan avenged, this northerner will be a steadfast ally until his debt to you is paid. Colbion's new flaming swords do extra damage to northerners. I don't care. Wish you an honorable death. Go! It's just fun for him to charge through everything and stun them all. It's quite useful. We're already up really high in the city. If we're, the arena we're battling in is anything to go by. I mean, look at us. We're very high up. Oh my god, why do none of these die? Why do they all require execution? Hello. And again, execution. Makes no sense. And again, another execution. There you go. Perfect. But I would say this is probably going to be one of those challenges that take me a couple tries to get through. I'm just kind of guessing at this point. Uh, search for spoils. Hey! You shuffle more slowly. Hmm. That's also really useful though. But I need five fame. I'll go with this then. I forgot I need fame for a lot of these. Ten food! Ah, oh, crap. Oh, we're starting off strong. Whew. You tend to leave and hope that no one recognizes you. Really? Why again? Oh wow. Victory. You are learning. You've gone at a few curious looks from the crowd. Thankfully the bustle of the city swallows you up again. 
Hallelujah. And again. Oh, wow. You find a family of fishmongers writhing on the ground beside the top of the wagon. You watch in horror as, as pustules of corruption spread across their bodies and down their limbs, leaving them grotesque and unrecognizable. Again, again! So it seems after every combat we have to roll some dice to get away from the civvies. And I'm assuming if they spot me, I get cursed or some bullshit. How fun! Go, Colbion! I was about to say, where the hell is he? His, his attack was taking a very long time to charge up. Seemingly. The corruption must have gotten so much more health. I don't remember them being this spongy before. No, I really don't. More executions. Hello. There you go. Got them both. And the question is, do they both die or do they require execution? No, they both died. I am surprised. Hmm. I'm just hoping I can get more equipment from these. Search for spoils. Yeah! Bullseye. That's the wide beam. It's fine. For those and free food. About accuracy. Myself, I think the story is more important than the truth. Oh, they watch in distress as you loot the newest victims of the blight. Shoot. I'm sorry. Oh, nice. Dealt with you, stand to leave and hope no one recognizes you. This is the worst one. Shit. Oh my gosh. Another five. And I got more fame, somehow. Seagull pumpkin. Yes. Ask her for a pumpkin. Seven food. Return to the town center, and that's all. And more of the corrupt si corrupted city. Oh wow. Some terrors of blight. And regular blight. Oh right. I mean if it results in a curse, it all it really all depends on the curse. To be honest. Because some curses are a lot worse than others. So, to me, it just depends. I'm, I'm hoping I don't get cursed, but I know for a fact I probably will. Alright. I'm assuming the way it works... Great. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming the way it works is if you did this encounter, and then once you're finished, instead of looting the bodies, you just left quietly. I'm assuming if you're left quietly, then you wouldn't have to deal with the dice roll, but I don't know that for a fact. It's just an assumption. Yeah, but I mean, that would make sense, because you'd leave before anybody noticed, I guess. Nope. Great, they need executing. Oh, both of them do. There he goes. Oh, shit. There's another that... there we go. Execution! Oof. I want to bash away... whoa! I wanted to bash away the armor! There we go. One down. Now they're stunned. Right. Boom. Great. Eh, hold on. I'm surprised that missed. <laughs> to be honest. I was just waiting to get clocked in the face. Ugh. The thing is, like, I would leave, like, do the leave quietly thing, but the chance of getting equipment and food is just very high, so... 
it just makes me want to stick around and search for spoils. 15 max of life and 20 gold. That one was a bit lackluster to be honest. Never mind. Are you serious? Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, bollocks. Nope. Well, time to get cursed. Someone curses. Oh, really? Ooh. Who cares? Oh, really? Oh, no. There's a chance of two curses per one. That's fucking awful. Oh, Colbion, you'd be useful, but no. I don't want to lose you for two turns. Or three turns. Do I get cursed again? Oh, I got fame. Wait, what? Points at you in recognition. Oh. Oh, a brimstone monster card. Yelling for the guards. Oh ho. Ho ho ho. Great. Brimstone phalanx. How so fun. Much military attention. And why? Because the Emperor knows you are coming. Squad of he has known long before. Mm -hmm. Okay. The squad of soldiers stand idly by a butter roll stall. Between bites of buttery snacks, they shout vague threats at townsfolk passing by. Stay inconspicuous and pass through. You hope they do not recognize you. Ah, oh, fuck. Really? Oh, great. I have no idea. <laughs> you keep your head down and continue on your way. Lucky me. Every a peasant wagon. Is at heart a lie. Parked in the dust quarter is a travelling theatre that has seen better days. The mottled stage curtains hang tiredly. A pasty, ill-looking man named Old Patton appears to be the head of this enterprise. He waves you over. Go on over. White powder has settled into the wrinkles of his face. His painted lips twist into a knowing grin. I know who you are, he whispers. Look here. I won't tell. He taps his red, bulbous nose and winks. If you stand in for my recently and rather inconveniently deceased actor. He points out a ragged baker costume. Uh, be the baker. Wait, so... The place starts off with a hag knocking on a pantomime door. Oh, baker, I've come for your hand in marriage. Greet her with a kiss. Crowd claps and jeers as you plant a kiss on the actress or actor playing the hag. They play the part with spectacular realism. I got gold. Oh my love, dearest of hearts, I brought you a cake. The hag croaks, removing a petrified cake from the folds of her apron. Abandon this farcical endeavor. No, the cake is spotted with mold. Take a bite. Ugh. The cake tastes of cinnamon and is so stale that you are forced to drag your teeth along its rock hard surface to scrape some crumbs off. Ugh. The crowd watches in morbid fascination. Of course it's an injury. What? Okay, I got more, more money. Then, in this inexplicably, a caged bar is dragged on stage. The hag looks at you expectantly. Release the bar. Before anybody can stop you, you open the cage. The bar blinks, startled before charging off the stage into the screaming crowd. It tusks, its tusks gouge your leg as it makes its escape. Great. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh dear. The bar. Gauze an innocent bystander before disappearing with a snort down an alley. Other than the person bleeding out, the crowd assumes this is all part of the show. More money! You see old Panton signalling for you to wrap up the performance. Denounce the Empire. The crowd regards your speech with suspicion. They are sure to alert the Empire. One more brimstone. Oh my god, why is it always these guys? A single member of the audience, a woman in a dirty apron, looks inspired by your speech. Heard of the apron, pledges her service to your cause. You hope that old pattern is happy with your performance. Yay! Oh! Great. This is moving really fast. Up. Lucky! No, I'm not nudging. Fuck that. The crowd cheers and throws coins onto the stage. As you bow, you've put on a good show. Yay! Old Patton is impressed by your dedication to the to the role. His charcoal eyes well with tears. Now this, this is acting. 
Hey, old Patton. So, your escapades at the pageant wagon have increased your notoriety. Oh dear. Checkpoints. As if they keep one step ahead of the deaths that hunt them. Before I do that, I want to check out what the other stuff is. That's a lot of steel. Stirring in the mire. Your day's travel is slow and long. The sun's rays now gone. A chill fills the marshlands. To avoid the swelling bogs, you press on to higher ground and happen upon an old road through the marshland. To the left, you see a group of cloaked thieves blocking the road. To the right, you hear the distant sound of a group of raiders scrolling in the northern tongue. Uh, with no other safe path through the mire, who do you fight? The raiders. The cold chill of night builds as you ready yourself for combat. Come on, you northern bastards. Let's do it. Do 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 do. Oh. I'm still worried about how some of this is gonna go. Man! It might be okay. <laughs> I doubt it. Oh yeah, I forgot I've got Colby on with me. Go! Oh god. Fight your brethren! Yeah, most of them got stunned. Lovely. Nope. Oh dear. Alright. Is that one down? Yeah. Shit. Oof. That was close. What a hit. That was a pretty good hit. Nope. I've somehow killed him. I'm not sure what, hell, what the hell happened. Hey! Well, Colbion's powerful. Seemingly, yeah. <clears throat> what do I get? With the raiders defeated, you notice some equipment hidden off the path in the mire. Perhaps they were guarding it. You slide down the bank to the treasure. Ah, oh, shit. Or do I? Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. Yay, I did. Oh, nice. That's also precision, though. Collect your prize and continue on your journey. Yay! Oh. Oh, it changed. Ooh. The winded peasant runs stumbling down the street, chased by a horde of corrupted. He falls at your feet and begins to twitch. The blood from his wounded wounds boils and blackens. Fight the corrupted. Yeah, corrupted aren't even that big a deal. I'm very curious as to how this is going to play out as well. Oh, uh, well. Holy crap, look at them all. There he goes. Threw a bunch of them. Oh, bloody hell. Didn't even see the red icon. Not at all. So that was either well hidden or I'm just blind. Jeez. That I saw too late though. Nope. Fuck me. I'm getting hit by everything. I don't know what the hell happened there, but something did. They all like exploded into being stunned. And again, I think it might be the mace. Against Corrupted, it's a chance of stunning them, maybe? No idea. Oh! Yeah, it must be. Because they're just kind of, like, exploding with being stunned. It's not happening all the time, but frequently. Ish. Oh shit, I thought I killed him. Or would have killed him. There we go. I got hit a few times. 
would have preferred to not get hit, but shit happens. The hot defeat of the townsfolk rushed to tend to the peasants. Yay! Oh. Oh. I can't tell what the number on any of these are, but sure. Fifteen! That's the best! I don't want to nudge it. Hell no. Excellent. A wise decision. Oh, I got some more food. I got twenty food from that. Not bad. Yay! Right, now it's time to do this. Steel musket and six of steel. That's fine. At the gates leading into the blood district, an Empire soldier speaks to a grumbling, slow-moving crowd. It appears there is some sort of hold-up. Join the line into the blood district. The soldier shouts a proclamation to the crowd. Attention from this day forward and until further notice there will be checkpoints at all gates. With the speech over you continue shuffling forward through the gates with the rest of the crowd you hope that you're not recognizable enough to arouse suspicion. Oh, I am. My thing's down as recognizable though. You move along with the crowd. The soldiers manning the gate do not notice anything amiss. Hey! I made it through without getting spotted. Oh wow. Huh? Something soldiers are patrolling. Okay. Medicine and chemistry. Places magic can hide as a more specific craft. The apothecary is inundated with a tense of rabble with a tense rabble of city inhabitants. As you get closer you notice that the door has been barred shut. An elderly woman is on her knees weeping, clutching a pearl necklace to her chest. Okay. Open up, have you no heart? A heavy set blacksmith pounds on the door. My daughter has succumbed to the rot, his voice cracks. The rest of the crowd shrinks away from the man, some covering their mouths fearfully. Find another way in. Hopping over a side gate and sque squeezing past crates, you find the back door to the apothecary. It's unlocked, but a thin bird like woman stands by the door, scrutinizing you. Ooh. Greet her. Hello, she says with a curt nod. I am your helm. My twin is Janice. I've heard that you want to destroy the Empire, and now that I see you are strong of brow and crooked of nose, I believe in your quest. Oh. She bids you goodbye as you enter the apothecary back door. Janice will want to help you too, if you can find her. Ah, oh, bollocks, I needed 50 gold for this. The owner of a spectacle, spindly gentleman jumps at your surprise, in our surprise entrance. Let's wait and see what he does. Fuck. Oh, mo <laughs> the fucker. <laughs> You're that traitor the soldiers are looking for with that. The apocalypse turns from meek to furious. Have you not done enough to destroy this empire? A curse on you, get out. I'm cursed! Great. Another brimstone monster card. Lovely. My notoriety has increased, and I failed at getting... Where we turn, they are burning witches. <laughs> Were I you, I'd stand clear. Until we end this... The Empire will continue with its purges. Yeah, I've failed at getting the gold for certain. The midwife confined to a pillory cries out to you, proclaiming her innocence. I'm not a witch, she cries. She's accused of practicing necromancy after she brought a stillborn back to life and is due to stand trial in front of the Inquisition. I was only looking out for the child and now they will have me hold... Scorching iron to see if I burn. Of course I will burn, she exclaims. You promise to do whatever it takes to free her. On the day of the trial, you sneak into the executioner's chamber and draw your sword as the belly man adjusts his executioner's mask. Oh. Oh wow, this is so much slower. This is weird. Oh, I'm not used to it. Fuck, I knew it! No! You are a beautiful... No matter what they say, the mass executioner insists on his, at his reflection before bursting into noisy sobs. The sudden outburst stops, as in, stops you in your tracks. You cannot help but sink further into your hiding place behind the closet as the executioner, still sniffing, hurries from his quarters. I failed because I suck <laughs> at literally everything. Oh my god. Oof. Throw a rock. And fail. So I'm good at that. Of course I can get this one. What the fuck? That will set you in good stead from here. 
Hell yeah! Yeah, I had completely forgotten about the apothecary. Shoot! It was just shit. I couldn't really help it. But whatever. Not to worry, I suppose. Ah, well. Never mind. It just sucks. Because I'd have liked to get gold. Jesus. Come on, Carby on. Go for it. I'm not going to get a chance. Oh. Good. Whew. I mean, if I can get through it, I can get through it. But if not, I'm not that bothered. <laughs> I'm just thinking how on earth you'd be able to get this easily. You need 50 gold, which to be honest, if you get the exquisite blade, it's not that bad. Hmm. But aside from that, I'm not sure. Oh, these are all combat things. Oh no, I gave him my money. I do that so many times because I'm too busy just trying to get through the dialogue. Or the text. Great. Stay inconspicuous and go through. Well, it's him. Oh man. Well, how many conspirators do you even need to gather in order to be able to do this, regardless? So I know you need twelve if you want to get gold, but I'm not sure. Oh well, I'm just sad. I couldn't get that. I forgot about. I needed that. I needed gold. Was that Colby on saying that? I don't even know. It sounded like it could have been. Nope. There are so many of these guys. It's actually a little ridiculous. Nope. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I'm lucky I decided to do my charge attack. Oh, I didn't realise it was a guy that needed to be executed. I realise at the last second. Nope. Okay. Come on. There. Wait. Oh, that isn't all of them. Oh. I thought my game glitched and I was like, hang on. That should be the end of the con um, combat. But it wasn't. Hmm. Okay. We made it past them at the very least. The cemetery. Are buried here, and you seem determined to unearth the more. The stillness in the cemetery provides a welcome respite from the city. Only two people walk the grounds today: a weathered grave digger named Thomas and an old woman in a flowered bonnet. The woman introduces herself as Hilda and asks you to accompany her to her husband's grave. She pulls you close. Conspiratorially and glares at Thomas. I think they added more stairs. Okay. The gravedigger makes a baffled noise in disagreement. A company held to her husband's grave. Hill takes her arm and leads you through a large stone arch toward the tombs. Three eyes, she says, pointing at a strange symbol of three dots etched upon the gate. That's lucky. Past graves and flowers, you climb until you reach a huge primitive stone tomb, fallen mostly to ruin. It's devoid of any markings other than three dots bored over the entrance. Ah, here. Hill dusts the walls here and there with her handkerchief as she descends the ancient steps into the tomb. You can barely make out her white dress and her crinkled eyes. She beckons you to follow. Follow her into the tomb. You hurry after Hill. Something flickers in the passage ahead and the old woman disappears into darkness. Ah, crap. Ah, oh, nine. That shouldn't be too hard. Oh, of course. I'll just re-roll and fail miserably. Okay, I didn't. Luckily. You head deeper into the tomb, it is dark here and unusually warm. You take a tentative step, feeling the smooth marble underfoot, the air smells of dust and flowers. Okay. So, you see a small shrine of dusty flowers and forgotten candle stubs. There are tunnels to the east and west. So head west or head east. Uh. 
We'll go east. In the depths of the tomb, you're overcome by a feeling of dread. There is a scuttling behind you, a scuttling sound behind you, and your head swims. Allies, greed. Great. Ominous shadows are cast down the tunnels. You are at, a, at the cursed crossway. Head north. The statue of a rogue woman stands at the intersection watching you with hollow eyes. You're at the blind statue crossway. Head west. You arrive at the inner sanctum. A gaping pit lies in the center of the room, swallowing swallowing the light. You've made it to the inner sanctum. Oh, crap. <laughs> and failed! Oh, why? Good. Without ceremony, the old widow reappears behind you. Why, hello? Did you get lost? With a wan smile, Hild hands you a bunch, a bundle of dried flowers. She nods encouragingly and stands back to watch. Place them next to the hole. Gently, you place the brittle flowers on the floor next to the pit. The old widow smiles back at you, her wrinkled face wet with tears. She pledges her service. Yay! You hear a scream of terror from somewhere above ground. Hild hides a small smile and states that she must stay here a while to pray. Unnerved, you quickly retrace your steps out of the tomb. You find the source of the screaming. It's none other than the old grave digger Thomas. The watcher, he's here. He babbles, pointing at a shaking hand at a mound of ornate tombs. Search in the pointed direction. You rush up the stairs to confront the threat. A hulking mass slides out from beneath a mausoleum. The faceless creature towers over you, its three eyes shining brilliantly. Fight the watcher. Your weapon passes through its body as if it were made of air. Oh no. Oh wow, okay. This is the one I'll fail. Great. Nothing like rolling something shit. I can't even do this. No, just continue. I failed. There's no fucking point in losing Colbion. With no time to react, the creature slashes at you with its long shadowy limbs, cutting you to the bone. Yay. Attempt to reason with it. In all tongues you know. Okay, so it's 18 for everything? Okay, this is fucking terrible. Nope. <laughs> Even you're disoriented. Great. Try to escape? Call for help. Oh my god, it's all 18. This one's shitty. Oh, this one's actually close. 14. Sure. I lose Colby on, but whatever. I got 18! Like a dream, Hill steps between you and the shifting form of the Watcher. She raises a shaking hand and the Watcher reels back. The creature's three eyes bulge and it blinks out of existence. You watch transfix as the old woman shuffles back up among the crowded tombs and mausoleums, blinking away tears. Thomas weeping, taps his forehead uncontrollably and jabbers words of gratitude. Hey, he's in my service. You carry Thomas to his cottage near the cemetery's entrance. You have to ply him with tea and words of comfort before he realises his fearful grip on your hand and allows you to leave. So there's that. Oh, really? I have to go back through? Gr I'm infamous. There's not a chance I can get through this. Well, this might be where I die. I have one. No, great. Well. <laughs> it's him! I'm so screwed. I'm against so many enemies and I don't even have Corpion anymore. Yay! Ah, bollocks. Ah, dear. Look at them all. Hello! Oh, I don't even- I don't have Corpion. I pressed the button to use Corpion right away. Bleh. Nice. Fuck. Oh. Oh, he's Brimstone. Ah, okay. I've just noticed what a Brimstone character looks like. But I don't know what the difference is. Do they just do more damage or what? Well, that's just something I don't know. No, I mean, I've not faced many prim Brimstone characters. He does 12 damage. Oh, how fun. Fuck. Oh, that's the captain. Oh, crap. Ugh. I'm just trying to avoid them. 
Nope. Jesus. So he has the potential of doing 24 damage. Hey, he died. Wrong button. Okay. Can he die already? Nope. Come on, die already. Thank you. You can bash this dude away. Poof. I'm looking at my to counter. There you go. Fuck. God, he seems. Look at him. It's terrifying. Nice. I actually won. Somehow. <laughs> I've got very little health, so I don't think I'm going to get to the end of this, to be honest. Hmm. Okay. I have to get through more. Right away as well. Ah, oh, great. I didn't even think about this. Great. I'm so dead. Oh, I'm so dead. Figured as much. Great. Well, I can guarantee I'm not making it out of this alive. Oh well. We had a good run. <laughs> oh, bollocks. I just wish I didn't go to the apothecary. Although, even if I did, I have still... If I didn't, more so, I don't think I'd have gotten enough money. Because nothing's giving me money. Fun! Look at this! Yeah! I mean, I'm gonna try and get through this, but I don't have faith. Oof. Get out of here. Oof. That was weird. That was really weird. I don't know what the hell happened. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Well, it's stunning them, so I mean, that's a good thing. It's definitely the captain I need to watch out for. Or whatever he is. General? No, he ain't a general. I think he is just a captain. Nighty ho. Shit. Ah, no. Uh. Shit. Oh god. I'm just like darting between everything. Yeah! Shit. Every single time I want to use my special, the captain just comes along and screws me instead. Douchebag. Nope. Yeah! No! Oh, are you serious? I mashed the right trigger as well. Oh no. Darn. Oh well. I had a feeling it was going to end that way. When we had to go against a brimstone as well as like 14 other Empire guys. Take the battle to Oof. the moon next time. The moon's a Surely I have tricky bitch. Better than this. Focus. Oh, shut up. The only thing I'm going to have issue with is trying to get through this with... Or, trying to get through this with gold. Or, and get gold. I think it's going to be really hard. By the way, that is going to be the end of this session. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And until next time, take care.